The song Indiana Home sparked my music career and allowed me to finally start making some cash money with my music. Today, I'd love to share the story behind the song with you. If we haven't met yet, my name's Trevor Hunt. Nice to meet you. I'm an Indiana singer-songwriter and I play all over the Midwest. Just so you know, this video is part three of a series I'm calling Song Stories, where I go through every song I've written and tell the story behind the song. You can find that playlist in the description or just right on my channel, where you can watch the last two videos where I go into detail how I started recording music from scratch in my own home studio. The last video was actually 12 minutes long and I found looking at analytics and whatnot, people were watching about four minutes of it. So I decided today to keep this one a lot shorter, not only for my own editing sake, but for your sake. I don't wanna waste your time. Let's talk about why I wrote the song, Indiana Home. I think it was some week towards the fall, summertime, you know, in Indiana we have this weird transition from summer to fall and we'll get like 80 degree days on a Tuesday and then a 30 degree day the following day. The temperature's just all over the place. And so I was walking through my house and I said, 80 today, 30 tomorrow. And that just kind of clicked something in my head. I think my wife said something like, oh, you can put that in a song or whatever. And that's how I started writing Indiana Home. But that's not where the story ends. I actually sat down and I started writing all the things I hated about Indiana. The weather, the small towns and the gossip, the way that you feel like you can't escape everyone knowing every little detail of your life and the lack of things to do around here. Indiana can sometimes feel like a boring state. I still remember sitting down at the guitar and thinking, man, Indiana sucks. <laughs> Why do I live here? And that's when it hit me. Why? Why do I live here? And that drove me to think of my home, my family, my wife's family, our friends, the people we love, the memories I've made, and then I started writing ideas of things I love about Indiana. You know what? I don't like the gossip of the small towns, but I love how they look and feel. Sometimes they feel like a big family. I love all the little fairs. I love the cornfields and beans. If you're ever, if you ever get a chance to sit on a porch and watch sunrise over a field of corn, that is a beautiful view. Almost as nice as the ocean. Not quite, but almost. So the chorus of the song is was a happy accident. I was literally playing and I sang, no offense to sweet home Alabama. And I thought, dang, that's cool. I'm gonna keep that in the song. So I can't say that it has any like great meaning behind it, but there's a part I've got a heart that's pounding like a hammer and I wrote that because people know me as someone who has a lot of energy and I felt like my heart's always pounding, I'm always excited and also I'm someone who loves to chase dreams and pursue things and I have passion for projects that I put into so that's kind of where the heart pounding like a hammer thing comes from. <sighs> so that's basically why I wrote this song. It's not the most in-depth details you've ever heard in a song before, but honestly, it's one of my favorite songs and most people's favorite songs to this day. It's my highest stream song. It's the song I made the most money on. It booked me all the gigs that I've had. Indiana Home has really made me love my Indiana Home even more. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, in conclusion, if you stuck around this far, I told you it was gonna be shorter. I wanted to stick to the point and not waste your time. Do me a favor, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. I don't want you to miss out on the videos I'm putting out here. I'm still doing a song a month, but I also wanna do more vlogs like this because honestly, like I've been laughing this whole time. My wife's in the other room making fun of me. It's a lot of fun doing these things. I truly enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. God bless. And as always, take it easy.